People have very different opinion on many things, like whether pineapple belongs on a pizza, for example. But one thing that we can hopefully all agree on is that 2020 was a pretty shitty year when it comes to traveling and mostly everything else, really. But during the summer of 2021, we finally got vaccinated and the virus slowly died down enough for us to get back on the road again. However, airports were still a bit risky for us, so we decided to drive from the north of Germany, where we have been living with Lena's family since the beginning of Corona, all the way down to the south to reunite with my family, who I haven't seen in almost two years. I think this is going to be the perfect chance for us to see the best of Germany that we as Germans usually don't consider visiting simply because as travel enthusiasts we look outside into this big world but never really appreciate the beauty of our own country. So buckle up for our first post-corona travel series. Joshua Lena's Germany road trip! We're on the road again! <laughs> Our first stop was Berlin, but because we've both already been to the main attractions of the city, we went straight to one of the lesser known sites, called the Museum Island, which is an island with the uh, museums on it. Why, why am I even explaining this? Now we're in front of this museum. We're not going in there, we're just taking some nice photos in front of it. Why did you not go on top of it? Yeah, I just figured getting arrested for it was not worth it. There they also had a cool little vintage market which was selling handmade goods and antiquities. It's not very like the touristy things like I love Berlin or something something, you know, it's just kind of small antiquities almost. I got this vintage camera for just 10 bucks. It unfortunately it doesn't work anymore, but it still looks very good on a shelf. And we also picked up this second-hand camera strap, which is three bucks. After that, Lena wanted to try a hip new food trend called poke bowls. And obviously, Berlin was the hip, cool, trendy place where you could get such a thing. Mmm, super hipster. I uh, always wanted to try, look at it. So it's essential vegetables in a bowl. We sat, we want some extra avocado in the shop. Then she turned around and on her shirt it literally said, Don't worry, you can always let add avocado later. We're now at Elena's favorite activity in Berlin. <laughs> Berlin is also <laughs> famous for all its second-hand clothing stores, which are not just a lot better for the environment, but also really unique, so who could blame us for picking up some fabulous new outfits. On the next day, we decided to drive to our next stop after Berlin and uh, failed. There was a sign next to the autobahn that said that there's a garden with a maze. And you know I freaking love mazes. And that's why we're turning around, we're going there. So instead, we visited the gardens of the world to check out what their amazing labyrinth had to offer. Right. All right. No, my ride. Turns out it was only a 4 out of 10 in difficulty, but at least it had a cool viewpoint. Here we are, Lena, look at that! And since we already paid the full entrance fee, we thought we might as well check out some of the other parts of the garden, which all in all made it a worthwhile stop. But then we had to get back on the road because we still had an appointment that day with the famous Moritzburg Castle, which was the filming location for a classic German Cinderella Christmas kind of movie called Drei Haselnüsse für Aschenbrötel. We only have 15 minutes more to go to get into the castle before ten. the official... Only 10 minutes! And you just Let's go! Luckily, they didn't end up closing the gates, so we still had some more time to discover this beautiful castle and take some amazing photos. And since Lena was a big fan of that German Cinderella movie, we had to reenact the famous scene in which Cinderella comes to the castle to dance with the prince. In action! <laughs> Amazing performance! The laughter adds so much to the naturalness of the dramatic scene. <laughs> Whoa, Lena! Go get your prince! <laughs> 
I hope you liked this first episode of Yasha and Lena's Germany Road Trip. Consider subscribing to our channel if you don't want to miss our upcoming videos in which we are going to visit many more beautiful places all across Germany.